guitar Jamming good with Will and Gilly And the spiders from Mars He played it left hand But made it too far high Became the special man Then we were Ziggy's band Ziggy really sang Screwed up eyes and screwed down hairdo Like some cat from Japan He could lick them by smiling He could leave them to hang He came home so loaded man Well hung in snow white tan So where were the spiders? While the fly tried to bring our paws Just to be like to guide us So we bitched about his fans And should we crush his sweet hands Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Ziggy Stardust, one of David Bowie's all-time classic tunes. A lot of cool stuff going on in this. Uh, so I'm going to be doing this lesson on an acoustic guitar, but you'll hear if you listen to the original recording, uh, electric guitar is quite dominant as well, and the parts are very, very similar. So what I'm going to be showing you on an acoustic guitar also works on electric guitar, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the layering of the two uh, instrument, uh, two types of guitar, the acoustic and electric mix, and, uh, and, and how you should be listening out for some of the layers as well and some of the electric layers that you can incorporate into the acoustic guitar part I think uh, just a little step up in the in the verses there can sound pretty cool as well so let's start off by looking at the intro now I'm going to kind of build it up a little bit and show you the most basic stuff and go through the chords first of all and then we'll get in a little bit more detail about what notes you should be playing and that kind of thing so uh, the first chord is a G chord I recommend it using the four finger G so third fret second fret open open third fret third fret so fingers three and four on the thinnest two strings at the third fret okay that's on uh, strum on beat one beat two normally i put a little muted hit there you know so uh if you're not familiar with doing that you put the hand down first and pick after it so you get this little kind of muted percussive hit on beat two so g mute now we change to a d chord making sure that you leave your third finger down make the change nice and easy and we're going to be adding little finger on and off to make it a d sus four so we play it as a d first of all then little finger down on the third fret of the thinner string, that makes it a D sus4, and you play that with it, it'll be an up pick, but we'll go through the picking in a bit more detail in a sec, and then off, and then on, and then off again. So you get this little G hit, and then we go, it's just a little finger going from the regular D, on, off, on, off, one, two, three, and a four, and so it's four and two down strum. So down, mute, down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, now we're onto the second bar of the intro, which again, we're gonna leave third finger down, put little finger back down where it's been hanging out there at the third fret of the thinner string, and move first and second fingers over. Second fingers moving to the third fret of the fifth string, and first finger moving to the second fret of the fourth string. This is a C add nine chord. Okay, just like that big G chord you had at the beginning, if you move first and second fingers over, we end up with this C add nine. Okay, so it's the first chord that we're going to be playing. Uh, and we're doing a down, up, down. I'll talk about the count again for this in a second. Uh, then we're going to lift off second finger, put first finger down in the second fret of the fifth string, which is a G with a B bass chord. And then we're going to lift that first finger off to play G with an A bass, okay? It's just kind of like a passing chord, that last one. But we end up with this. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Okay, that's the little pattern. So down, up, down, down, up, down, down. And then we've got the riff again. Down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay. What's interesting here is the rhythm, okay? So the actual pattern, if I said it, it's just down, up, down, down, up, down, down. 
sounds pretty simple, but because the rhythm of that second bar is a little bit tricky, we're just going to mute it up now. So just rest your fingers on the on the strings so you don't have any chord to kind of distract you. We're just going to concentrate on the strumming hand for a second. So the pattern is this. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Now you can see that my hand keeps moving the same all the time. That's a really big deal for these kind of patterns. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. One E and a two and three E and four. One E and a two and three E and four. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. One E and a two and three E and four. One E and a two and three E and four. You can see the way I can count it, keep that hand moving. It makes doing those rhythms a lot, lot easier. So I really recommend that you practice doing that just with the muted thing first and then try and apply that to the chord. So you'll have down, up, down, down, up, down, down. So down, up, down on each chord. Down, up, down, down, up, down. Except for the last chord, it's just one strum. That's the acoustic part. Now, the other parts are ever so slightly different. There's a very kind of fuzzy electric guitar, which plays quite simply the same sort of thing, same chords, but just not with less strums in the second bar. So it goes G, D, with a little da 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 da, but it's so fuzzy you don't really hear it. But then in that second part, it just goes. Okay, so it's just one strum on each. One, two, three. Down strums. Okay, it's not doesn't have to be ex as exact as that because it's kind of loose and a bit punk. This song, you know, the, the way the the parts are kind of working together, it's a, it's quite. Some of the sounds are quite angry and, and 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 loose, but at the same time, the rhythm of the whole band is really tight. It's a very interesting combination. Now, um, I think that that electric guitar part I've just been describing is on the uh, left hand side. On the right hand side is the acoustic and another uh, kind of more of a lead guitar part. So uh, the, it starts off. <laughs> playing an open G string and uh, the note D, which is the third fret of the second string, those two notes together, beat one, then the rest on beat two. Now, it's the same as the kind of melodic element of these D sus chords, but it's just playing second fret on the thinner string, third fret, second fret, third fret, second fret, and then finishing on the third fret of the second string. So one, two, Three E and a four and then it's doing this literally just playing the open G string and then the third fret on the second string which sounds a bit weird by itself just to have this part Okay, but that's that's the part, and in the context of the whole thing, because it's kind of highlighting the, even though the other guitars are going, really kind of accentuates that one little bit, um, and this last part. The, okay, I can give you the count for it. I suppose I probably should, but again, these all of these things, in fact, all of this kind of complicated counting stuff that I'm doing. It's much easier to learn it by listening than it is to do it by counting. So I strongly recommend just listening to the original recording a bit and, and learning that way rather than trying to do the count. But uh, the count is one E and a two E and a three E and four E and one E and a two E and a three E and four E and. So it's like a 16th note followed by an eighth note, 16th note followed by an eighth note, 16th note followed by an eighth note. One E and a two E and a three E and 
four E and one E and a two E and a three E and four E and one E and a two E and a three E and four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and okay so sixteenth notes use whatever picky you like I'm just using down up down up down up down up down up but you know, you could use whatever picking uh, you happen to fancy, really, for this kind of a tune. So, I think that's enough for the intro. So, just so, let's do a quick reviso. So, G, mute, D, sus4, C add 9, G with a B bass, with an A bass, G. Okay, keeping that hand moving is the real big deal unless you're doing the electric guitar part, the, the lead line guitar part, in which case you can be a little bit freer with uh, your picking directions. Otherwise, really big deal to try and keep that hand moving if you can. So then we're into the verse. Uh, now, verse is a, a really interesting little uh, thing here. So um, let me go through the, the, the chord sequence first of all with really simple strumming. Then we'll talk about the strumming, then we'll talk about embellishments. That's the, the plan. So... Uh, the chord progression, first of all, is G to B minor to C and then to D then to G then to E minor then to A minor and then to C Okay, again, G, Ziggy play guitar, B minor, jamming good with mid and C chord, and the spiders from D, he played it left G, but made it to E minor, became the A minor man, then we were C chords back. Okay, that's the most basic version of the strumming there for that. But you probably want to get the strumming going fairly early on in that, and it's not a particularly difficult pattern. It's fairly consistent, not exactly consistent. Again, it's about keeping the hand moving consistently, and you should be able to get it. The strumming pattern is this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, let's slow that down a little bit. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Now what that is, is three groups, well two groups first of all, of down, down, up. So one E and a, two E and a, then beat three is three E and, so down, up, down, so down, down, up, down, down, up, then down, up, down, and then the, last, the first pattern again, down, down, up. Okay, let's do it nice and slow. One and a, two and a, three E and four. And a one and a two and a three e and four and a down down up down down up down up down 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 up down down up down down up down up down 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 up one and a two and a three e and four and a Okay, really important that you keep that, that hand moving. So if I just apply that now to that chord sequence, so one and a two and a three and four and a really really nice strumming pattern that works really well in this song and it's pretty much exactly what's on there but again we've got this separation between the electric guitar and the the rhythm guitar so the electric guitar there's some crunch parts doing kind of chordy things but most dominantly there is uh, electric guitar playing some kind of lead lines uh, that fill in between the verses and kind of give some melodic movement as well um, if you want to get into it if you're playing in a band it's a really cool thing to learn those kind of lines um, 
just for me to try and go and write them all out and explain it to you is it's kind of complicated to explain it and if you're into that kind of thing you definitely want to be learning this sort of stuff by ear listening to it yourself and trying to figure it out especially simple kind of melodic lines like this there's nothing complicated going on and I think it'd be really good for your ears to do it but there is one I'm going to show you just because it's such a nice and, and quite a dominant line you can mix it into the acoustic guitar part um, and it happens on the C chord so you do C, C, then there's this okay there's this little movement here one, two, this is from Mars okay so it's from the C chord you just instead of playing the whole chord you're just going to play the fifth string and you go third fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret and then to the D just really really kind of it makes that kind of part of the song for me it's a really dominant riff it, it seems to work really well with the with the vocal you know if you if you listen to it properly the electric guitar goes it's got this little you know it, it continues it doesn't just do the It's a really, really beautiful line that fits so well with the with the vocals. But again, you can't do the whole line if you're playing it by yourself on the acoustic guitar. It doesn't really work. But if you've got somebody to play with, if you're jamming with somebody regularly or in a band or whatever, you definitely want to get into learning these lines because they're so they're so much fun aside from anything else. And there's some really interesting things going on, harmonics and stuff in this song. So definitely you guys that are progressing into that kind of territory, you definitely want to get your ears out and learn to transcribe and hear things yourself because that's definitely the way you should be learning this stuff. So uh, then we're into the chorus. Uh, it's quite the end of Stairway to Heaven, very similar kind of chord sequence, even in the same key. So we have this A minor thing. Now, I, I'm going to explain it to you on acoustic guitar, first of all, with full bar chords, OK? But if you want to play it just as power chords as well, that's the, the electric guitar part on the record is just playing power chords. But you, it, it's a good idea, I think, to know the whole chord, the whole bar chord. You could play them open as well, actually, I suppose. Um, we start with an A minor. <laughs> Then a G, then F. Okay, so we're just doing this little trick. So A minor, you could play it as an open if you want A minor to G and then F. I'll show you that trick in a second. But it's definitely, you know, it sounds cooler to me and, and, and it's nice to have that again, the different thing between the verses and the choruses that I often talk about, you know, if you're playing the verses with open chords, moving to bar chords for the chorus gives it that kind of different texture. So uh, A minor bar chord, which is the fifth fret, five, seven, seven, five, 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 and down, up, down, up, down. Then move it back to a full G chord, three, five, five, four, three, three, down, up, down, up, down on that one as well. One E and a two. Three and a four, then down to F, and all we're doing is if you've got your regular F bar chord, you just lift the tip of your first finger up so that you reveal the thickest string. Okay, you hold the rest of the chord down, just move the tip of your first finger. Try not to move the whole finger, so keep that the lower part of your first finger. You, don't, you probably don't want to be playing all of the all of the notes of that chord. You want to be focusing on the thicker strings, but. So one and two and three and four and okay F E bass F E bass F E bass F G okay that's the movement A G F E F E F E F G And if you're doing it on electric guitar, okay. Now strumming, as far as this goes, if I'm playing it on acoustic guitar, I generally be going down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. If you're doing it electric guitar, I'd probably be doing all down strokes. Kind of gives it a little bit more 
grunt when you do all downstrokes. I think because you physically have to move faster, it kind of creates more energy when you're playing. So um, it does that three times, that whole sequence there. Um, and then it goes to a D chord. And it's getting a bit chaotic there. A lot of instruments playing, a lot of kind of grooves. But it sounds like to me the guitar is just going one and two, three and four on a D chord, okay? Using all downstrokes, probably. Down and two, three and four, okay? One and two, three and four. Then it changes to an E chord, a regular E major chord. One and two and one E and a two E and a. Sorry, this was the three E and a four E and a there at the end, but one and two. Okay, that last part on the E is definitely all, there's chaos going on there, so I'm not exactly sure that's what's going on at, at, at that part. It's just kind of, it's a build, okay? There might be one of those little kind of slide down things on, on the and after four. Um, it's just about having that build up going back into, yeah, so let me just play from the beginning of the chorus there, so A minor. such a fun song to play this one. I'm sure you guys are going to be enjoying this. So lots of things to look out for in this tune, okay? You can keep it real simple if, well it's not, this isn't a, like a real simple song, but it's, it's fairly easy to play. It's got that B minor bar chord which some beginners will struggle with a little bit, so it's kind of more an intermediate level I think in, in my eyes as far as the, the difficulty level, but definitely B minor is probably one of the easier kind of bar chords, so I wouldn't let that put you off if you wanted to have a go at playing it. Um, and then see how many of the embellishments you can incorporate in for your playing level, you know, and, and, and do give it a good listen to the original recording. Um, really good exercises and on songs like this is trying to pick out the individual parts. It's good for your ears and, and the more kind of tuned you get, the more you're able to focus on individual instruments within stuff. I think it improves the whole listening experience, you know, when you listen to new music, you can hear the, the way the parts kind of work independently and how they blend together and I think that's a a really beautiful thing in, in music that you miss if you don't learn to listen out for it. So, uh, and this is a great example of that, aside from just being a fantastic song all around. So, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed playing this one, and I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.